Justice Kiri have begun presenting their arguments at the constitutional bench of the Supreme Court on the writ filed against the resolution of the House of Representatives. Five law practitioners are set to provide their unbiased opinion to the bench on the issue and their opinion could well influence the verdict by the constitutional bench. Good morning, I am Vipashna Tamang and these are the headlines of the hour. Police in Baitidi arrest one suspect in the infamous rape and killing of 17-year-old Bhagirath Bhatta. The police to make the culprit public today. Election Commission Delhi dallies in election preparations amid ruling party debacle. NCP Chairman Dahal says the commission cannot scrap the party's symbol. Yanbar's detained opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi handed a second criminal charge, charged of violating the nat country's natural disaster law. And Kylian Mbappe scores a stunning hat-trick as PSG rips apart Barcelona in the first leg of their Champions League last 16 tie. Liverpool too good for RB Leipzig. The police in Baitari have arrested one suspect in the infamous rape and killing of 17-year-old Bhagirathi Bhatta. The arrested individual studied in the same college with the victim and is also a neighbor of the victim. Police in Baitari have claimed that there are enough evidences to prove the suspect's involvement in the rape and killing of Bhagirathi Bhatta and are making preparations to make the culprit public later this morning. The overall activities for the upcoming midterm elections have come to a standstill with the election commission remaining indecisive on the issue of the ruling party's legitimacy. Although the Dahal faction filed its claim on 2nd of this month, the commission is yet to decide if it will go ahead with the legal procedures. Four separate proposals are under consideration at the Commission. However, the Commission has attempted at dodging its constitutional obligations. We have more in this report. The Dahal faction of the ruling Nepal Communist Party had refiled its claim on the party's legitimacy on 2nd of February with the signatures of the majority members after the Election Commission stated that the party's Central Committee would continue to have at 441 members. However, the Commission has not been able to decide whether to move ahead with legal procedures for the faction's latest claim. The Commission had assigned newly appointed Commissioner Ramprasad Bhandari to table a proposal in this regard by 10th of February. However, Bhandari has failed to furnish a report. Sources say the Commission is dwelling on various options, including giving a similar decision as in the previous occasion, suspend the election symbol, seal and flag of the party or hold the legitimacy issues for the time being. Experts say the alternatives in consideration show that the Election Commission is rather trying to dodge its constitutional obligations instead of resolving the ongoing legitimacy dispute of the ruling party and creating an environment for the elections. The legitimacy issue will drag to the court if the Election Commission, an independent constitutional body, fails to hand a right decision. Analysts say the Commission would be working against the institution's prestige if it intends for the case to enter the court. The amicus curiae that have begun presenting the argument at the constitutional bench of the Supreme Court on the writ filed against the dissolution of the lower house have said that the constitution has not entrusted the Prime Minister the right to dissolve the House of Representatives. Presenting his argument as amicus curiae in the bench yesterday, senior advocate Badri Bahadur Karki said that the constitution had envisioned an accountable government and that was to be proved through the parliament itself. Advocate Karki argued that the prime minister should work to maintain confidence vote through the parliament and that any disgruntled faction would also have to follow parliamentary process in case it wanted to challenge the government. Former Attorney General Karki said that the parliament should have the opportunity to form a government and that the parliament would be dissolved if it failed to do so. 
Karki said the test of a government uh, could only be done uh, through a parliament. Karki argued that the inter-party wrangling within the ruling party could not be a reason for the dissolution of the lower house. The Nepal Bar and the Supreme Court Bar Association had sent a list of five lawyers as amicus curiae at the request of the constitutional bench. The hearing will continue today as well. In our public voice segment, we had asked local residents in Kapil Vastu what should be done to raise the number of migratory birds in Jagdishpur Lake. Before we go for a short break, let's take a look at what they had to say. Public voice. This is the sound of the Kapil Vastu. अप्ठ्यारो अथवा चरालाई त्यस्तो हुन्छ कि भन्ने चाहिँ मलाई लाग्छ के पाटाटाहरु टराखहरु चलिराखेछन् धेरै हो होला पनि यो गर्न भएन धेरै डुङाहरु पनि चलाउँदा पनि तर्सिन्छ अवस्थित मानिसहरुको आवाज जावत ध्वनि प्रदूषण र डुङ्गाले पनि व्यवस्थित रूपले सञ्चालन गर्न सके भनी पाहुना चराहरुको आगमन हुने थियो टाइम नाउ फर सेगमेन्ट पब्लिक पोल्स वे टेक्स टस विथ योर ओपिनियन Public polls. And here's the question: Why has the government remained indifferent towards providing relief packages for the working class? The options: Option A, pressure of regular expenses; Option B, no thoughts for welfare; and Option C, bad intention. The voting is on. Type in AWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to three four double zero one to share your opinion with us. And time now for the sports update. Kylian Mbappe scored a stunning hat-trick as Paris Saint-Germain ripped Barcelona apart in the first leg of the Champions League last 16 tie at the No Camp. The night did not start well for last year's runners-up when they fell behind to Lionel Messi's 27th-minute penalty. Messi, regarded as one of the greatest players of all time, was then upstaged on his own turf by France World Cup winner Mbappe as PSG ruthlessly exposed the hosts. Mbappe danced past Clement Lenglet and smashed in their collider before stroking home from 10 yards to turn the game around. On loan, evidence striker Moyes continued his resurgence by heading in unchallenged at the far post to put the Liga 1 champions in control of the tie. With Barca looking to pull a goal back, they were caught on the counter-attack and Mbappe curled and the goal of the night with his third. The second leg takes place on 28th of March in Paris, by which a time PSG hoped to have a Neymar back from a thigh injury to face his former club. Meanwhile, Liverpool registered a morale-boosting 2-0 win over RB Leipzig in the first leg pre-quarter-final tie. Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp said his side defied many people's expectations with their first leg victory over RB Leipzig in the last 16 of the Champions League. Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane struck in the space of five minutes near the start of the second half in an away leg played in Budapest Puskas Arena because of COVID-19 restrictions. It came after the Reds had fallen to three straight defeats in the Premier League, results that have led Klopp to concede defeat in the defence of the English top-flight title. Liverpool had largely dominated possession and created the better chances before the break, but two decisive errors, defensive errors and two neat finishes swung the game and the tie their way. Having managed the game well after going 2-0 up, Club side will defend their advantage at Anfield on 10th of March when they will be firm favourites to go one round further than they managed last season. And that's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.